Objectives and question answers on the lesson. Reproduction in plants. Class 7, Science. Fill in the blanks. The male and female reproductive cells called dash fuse to form a single cell called dash. Gametes and zygote dash are microscopic single-celled or several-celled reproductive bodies that are mostly spherical. Spores dash is method used for large-scale multiplication to develop better variety of crops and to save endangered species of plants. Tissue culture Dash is the first step in the process of seed formation. Fertilization The dash is the seed bearing part of a flowering plant. Fruit Write T for true and F for the false. Plants can only reproduce by asexual methods. False An algae multiplies by the process of layering. False The pistil bears the anther that contain female gametes. False After successful pollination, the stigma secrets nutrients. True. Wind blows away pollen grains from anthers of one flower to the stigma of another flower. True. Choose the correct answer. A substance which is essential for maintaining life and growth is called. A. Budding In which of these processes is a young plant, lowered towards the ground, and covered by moist soil forming a layer? B. Layering Which of these is an underground stem with fleshy scales that serve as sites of food storage? B. Bulb Which of these parts of a flower contain male gametes? A. Anthers Which of these is known as the ripened ovary? B. Fruit Which of these is an example of a bulb? B. Onion In which of these processes does the adult organism breaks up into two or more pieces? C. Fragmentation Which of these have buds in the eyes that give rise to new plants? B. Tubers Which of these is not a part of the pistil of a flower? B. Stamen 
Which of these have buds from which outgrowths are produced which give rise to new plants? D. Both A and B. Give two examples of the following. Plants that multiply by fragmentation. Spirogyra. Fucus. Plants that multiply by their tuberous roots. Sweet potato. Dahlia. Plants that have corms. Gladiolus. Colocasia. Plants that multiply by cutting. Bougainvillea. Hibiscus. Plants that multiply by layering. Grapes. Jasmine. Plants that pollinate by wind. Wheat. Rice. Plants that pollinate by water. Sea grass. Vallis area. Plants whose seeds disperse through explosion. Castor. Balsam. Short answer type questions. Why are underground stems swollen? They appear swollen because, underground stems are encased in thickened fleshy bulb scales. The scales serve as sites of food storage. Differentiate between the following. A. Asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the formation of new plants, from the cells of a single parent. Whereas sexual reproduction is the process of producing new young ones, through the fusion of male, and female games, and involves two parents. b. Self-pollination and cross-pollination During self-pollination, the pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flow, a or on another flower of the same plant. During cross-pollination the pollen grains are transferred from the anther of one flower, to the stigma of another flower of a different plant of the same kind. Why do seeds need to disperse? If all plants were to grow in the same place, there would be huge competition for survival. They would not be able to get enough space, light, and water to grow. Scattering of seeds or fruits helps in reducing this competition. And also plants get distributed to distant places and thus, enter new habitats. Long answer type questions. Describe the various steps involved in tissue culture. This is a method used for large-scale plant multiplication to develop a better variety of crops, which are disease-free, and have a higher yield, and to conserve endangered, and rare breads of plants. This method is widely used in research work, forestry, and horticulture. A small piece of tissue, called, the explant, is cut off from the growing tips of plants. The explant is kept in a medium rich in nutrients, which promotes cell division. Cell division results in a mass of loosely arranged cells, called callus, which eventually forms multiple shoots. Rooted shoots are then shifted to pots, and suitable conditions are provided to grow into mature plants. What are the advantages of vegetative reproduction? The advantages of vegetative reproduction are It is a faster, and more certain method of reproduction. Sometimes the seed may not germinate due to unfavorable conditions. But in this case, a new plant directly grows to form a part of the parent plant. 
new plants resemble the parent plant exactly. Thus, it helps in conserving characteristic features of the parent plant. Plants that do not flower or do not have seeds can reproduce by this method. What happens after successful pollination? After successful pollination, the stigma secretes nutrients. The pollen grain absorbs these nutrients and starts growing. A thin tube grows out of the pollen grain. The pollen tube keeps growing, till it reaches the ovule inside the ovary, and enters it. The male gamete is carried inside the pollen tube. Once the pollen tube reaches the ovule, the male gamete fuses with the female gamete, present there. The process of fusion of male, and female gametes is called, fertilization. A zygote is formed after fertilization takes place.